Hi there folks and welcome to the What Solutions for this week's The Daily Rigger, issue number 254. So our first story from the world of politics, so from the month of July, um, the furlough scheme used to pay um, workers um, to stay at home is going to change ever so slightly. So rather than the government paying 80% of the wages, they're only going to pay 70% and the employer is going to have to top that up um, by the remaining 10%. So under the previous system, how much furlough pay would an employee earning £2,000 per month receive? So, as you can see um, from this part here, so it's 80% of the wages for the hours not worked, so we just have to work out 80% of 2000 A few different ways you can do this. I'm going to find 20%, the biggest bronze percentage that goes into 80%, and to find 20%, we divide by 5, because there's 5 20s and 100 and then this would give us 20%, so to get 80%, we multiply that figure by four. So that comes to £1,600. So as we said, for the month of July, um, the government's only going to pay 70%, but the employer is now going to pay 10%. So how much will the employer contribute towards this wage of £2,000? Well, that's just going to be 10% of 2000 So of course, for that, we just have to divide by 10, so that's 200 so how much will the government now contribute per month? So that's 70%. So we already know what 10% is. So to get 70%, we could just multiply 10% by 7. So that's going to give us £1,400. And notice that still comes to the £1,600 that the employee would have got um, prior to the system changing. But how much, of the, um, how much do they not receive of their usual monthly wages? So that's going to be um, the £2,000, the total that they should get, uh, minus what they actually receive, which is £1,600. So that's going to come to £400 of lost income. So hopefully, um, as restrictions ease, um, people can get back to work um, as soon as possible. So on to our retail story, if we didn't have um, enough doom and gloom in the news, the UK is facing a Haribo shortage due to a shortage of lorry drivers. But we've got a wee kind of Haribo breakdown for you here for a wee problem today. So this is the percentage breakdown um, of um, the type of sweets you would get in a 190 gram bag of Haribos. So if you were to choose a sweet at random, what are you most likely to get? Well, that's clearly going to be a gummy bear because it's got the highest percentage of sweets contained within the bag. So in this bag, um, there were 11 rings. So how many sweets were in the bag altogether? So as we can see that 20% of all the sweets um, were rings and we're told that there's 11 of them. So the whole bag would be 100%. So if we multiply 20% by 5, we get 100%. So we do 11 times 5, which means that there was 55 sweets in the bag. So on to our entertainment story this week. I mean, some of these apps that are invented completely blow my mind. But we've now got an AI camera that where you scan your bricks, it then suggests what you can build with those bricks. But we've got a wee Lego theme puzzle for you here. So can we build three towers in a row where each tower is double the height of the previous one without having any bricks left over? So can we do that? So the first thing to notice is there's 21 bricks all together. So if you had three bricks and then you had to build a tower double the height, that would be six bricks. And then another tower double the height of that previous one would be 12 bricks. We could do a wee check there. Three plus six plus 12 does in fact give you 21. In other words, yes, it can be done. So into a sports story, and this is a potentially mind-blowing story, that... Um, France striker Karim Benzema scored two goals in the exact same second. So 46 minutes and 44 seconds on the clock to be precise. Can you explain how on earth this is possible? It was just a wee bit of fun. So he scored his first goal. You can see that even at different ends of the pack. He scored his first goal one minute and 44 seconds into injury time in the first half because then the first half is 45 minutes and then the clock keeps going with injury time. Now, once that first half's over, the clock then resets to 45. So that's the second goal scored one minute and 45 seconds into the second half. So there you go, folks. That was our What Solutions. We hope you enjoyed solving these problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition when we're going to be looking at more stories from the news of the week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.